All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your Raspberry Pi with Raspbian operating system on it, and then install RetroPie, the gaming system, and then further install Kodi Media System, Media Center from there. So first you've got to go to this website, SD um, Formatter 4. You're going to click on Downloads. Uh, you're going to scroll down to the next page and select Approved. And then once you have it installed, um, it'll download, double click on it, install it. And then you're going to bring up a screen that looks just like this. You're going to select Quick Format. Make sure your SD card is selected and run it. It takes like a minute and then your SD card is formatted. Then you're going to go to the... Um, Raspberry Pi website and just do uh, I'll provide the links to all this stuff but you go to the new ops download download the network version and when you're done downloading you unzip it and you're going to select all the files um, inside the new ops underscore version one whatever you might you know whatever version you have select and drag and drop them onto your SD card the formatted one then when you put that in the Raspberry Pi, you're going to come up to a screen that looks just like this or similar, and you're going to select Raspbian and then click Install. Um, it takes a little while to install, but once it does, you'll get a screen that looks like this, says um, OS is installed successfully. Um, you hit OK, and you're going to reboot. It'll probably just reboot for you, I believe. And then it'll boot right into the um, Raspberry Pi, the Raspbian operating system. And I'm going to recommend the first thing you do is in the top right hand corner, click on those uh, icons for the two computers that look like network computers and select your Wi Fi and put in your password, right? And then you're going to bring up terminal and um, you can go into the Raspberry Pi config. I'll give you the code for all this. The one thing you want to do is make sure you set it to log into the text console. And so then you're going to reboot, you're going to go into the text console, and then from there you, um, you can log in as you normally would to the Raspberry Pi. Well, normally if you're not familiar with it, you put in username Pi and password Raspberry is the default. You can go back into the Raspberry config to change that if you want. Um, you should change it at some point. But anyway, log into the text console, and then you're going to go to this website, which is the RetroPie um, setup page. I'll provide the links to this. And this is where you're going to find the commands. If you scroll down, you'll see these commands. And you're going to just follow the directions here. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but you got to just do each one. There's probably like about 10 commands you have to put in. Press enter after each one. And the last one's going to take a while. Um, but uh, when that is completed, you will have um, the Raspberry Pi all set up. Uh, I'm sorry, you will have, uh, you'll come to a screen that's going to ask you to install RetroPie. Um, that screen uh, is going to have the top item is going to say select manage packages and hit OK, press enter, and it'll take you to a screen that's going to say uh, quick install. There's a couple options here actually, but you're going to want to go with quick install. Um, just as a note, this is where you'll come back to to put in Kodi. It's under the Manage Optional Packages. You can install that right from here. It's actually a lot. Of, I encourage you to, to uh, um, explore it. There's a lot of stuff. But anyway, when you do the quick install, hit OK. And it's going to take a while to do that installation. Um, and then after it's installed, you're going to want to restart. And when you uh, log back in, to Raspberry Pi, you're going to type in Emulation Station. When you type in Emulation Station, it's going to take you into the Retro Pi. All right, so at that point, though, you have the option to type in Start X, and it would take you in the Raspbian if you wanted to do something just with the Raspberry Pi. But anyway, in here, the first thing you'll do is configure your joystick if you have one. Um, and then you could, uh, if you select um, OK, you'll go to this page for further configurations for the RetroPie. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see there's options for how to get out of the screen and other things to do. Because the first time I came in, I was like, how do I get out of the screen? So it's B to go back, and you'll come back to this page, right? And then you can use the arrows to go back and forth between the different options. Like you can go into the arcade games um, and just hit the, uh, usually it's the A button or the Start button to go into the those and start button selects them right and you use the b back b button or the uh 
select and start button at the same time to get back. So anyway, you, under port, you should see Kodi if you installed it. And then once you get in there, you'll, it doesn't take too long. It brings you right in here. And you can start um, uploading things. Again, I recommend you SSH in. Um, check out your IP address and just SSH, SSH in and upload. All the stuff you want to to the uh, the media center and have fun with it mess around with the add-ons the add-ons are, are really cool um, and let me know if you have any questions but this is the setup this gets you it's really not that hard it takes a little bit just because some of the um, installs take a while um, but yeah you know, probably in less than an hour maybe right around an hour you can be up and running um, let me know if you have any questions please subscribe